in terms of the ice baths, what I do is, you know, anywhere between 35, 40 degrees or something like that. Would you say that's a good temperature? For most people who start out, probably not. For a guy like you, since I know that you've embraced CT big time, uh, the key temperature is between 50 and 55 degrees. So for people that live in California, this is awesome because that's the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> when my bath warms up and it gets up to 50, 55, it's like, it's boring. It doesn't seem to do anything. Well, that is the ideal temperature based on the research. If you go lower, it, it truly means that you're really doing well. Most people don't need to go that low because when you go below 50 degrees, that's when you run the risk of getting hypothermia. So you're not going to recommend that for a newbie. That's what I call deep CT. But the people who are high level athletes, people who are like Navy SEALs, things like that, that's where I teach them how to use that. Can you stay in water between 28 and 35 degrees for a really long time once you're adapted? The answer is yes. Is it quite healthy for you? It is but it's not healthy for somebody who hasn't cold adapted first. Okay, okay. That has to happen.